is the second video in our series of writing equations of lines. Continuing where we were at the end of video number one, we are writing the equation of a line with the slope and a certain point, but this time the slope is a fraction. We are still plugging into y equals mx plus b. When you see the directions write an equation of a line, you should immediately think y equals mx plus b, and you're going to plug this information into this equation. This is x and this is y. So I just have to put negative 5 in for y, m is 4 sevenths, x is negative 2, you might want to write it as negative 2 over 1. Do your arithmetic here is negative 8 over 7 plus b equals negative 5. And you have two choices here. If you are okay with fractions, you can just add your 8 sevenths to both sides, or if you have a calculator that does fractions, just add the 8 sevenths to both sides. But what I'm going to show is the getting rid of the fraction routine for those of you who aren't using a calculator. So multiply everything by 7 because that's your denominator. 7 times negative 5 is negative 35. Over here, the 7s cancel, and we just have negative 8. But don't forget, you have to do 7 times b. And now we have a two-step equation to solve. Add 8 to both sides, which makes negative 27. Over here we have 7b. Undo that by dividing by 7. And that is your y-intercept. And remember, you're asked to write the equation, so you've got to go back and write y equals the m you were given. That was the 4 sevenths x minus 27 sevenths, or plus a negative 27 sevenths. That is the equation of the line. You can check this by plugging negative 2 in for x and negative 5 in for y, and you should get a true statement. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 sevenths minus 27 sevenths. You might want to go plus a negative makes negative 35 sevenths, which is negative 5. So that's the way you can check these all the time is to take the point, plug it in for x and y, and you should get a true statement. Same kind of problem. We have a fraction. Here's our x. Here's our y. We're going to plug into that. y is 5. m is negative 4 fifths. x is 4. I'll write it as 4 over 1 plus b. This gives me negative 16 fifths plus b equals 5 over here. Let's multiply everything by that denominator of 5, which is going to get rid of the fraction. 5 times 5 is 25. The 5's cancel out. We have negative 16 plus 5b. Two-step equation to solve. Add 16 to both sides is going to give us 41 right here. Divide both sides by 5, and we get 41 fifths. That's our b. Go back and write your equation. y equals the slope you had times x plus the 41 fifths. I'll let you do the check on your own. Plug 4 in for x, put 5 in for y, and you'll see that it works. Looking back here, we realize it says put it in standard form. So we've got to take this expression and get it rewritten into our standard form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c. So the first thing we need to do is eliminate all those fractions. Multiply everything by 5, which is going to give us this expression. The 5's cancel out, and we end up with 5y equals negative 4x plus 41. All that's left is to move the 4x to the other side by adding 4x to both sides, and we get 4x plus 5y equals 41. Now, these directions say write an equation of a line in standard form. We talked about this before. That's a different form. You still need to plug into y equals mx plus b. We'll deal with the standard form thing at the end. So this is x, this is y. So y is negative 1, m is 3 fourths, x is negative 3 over 1 plus b. Do this arithmetic, makes negative 9 fourths plus b equals negative 1. Just for something different, I'm going to just go ahead and deal with the fraction. So add 9 fourths to both sides. If your calculator does fractions, this is pretty easy. You just type in what you see. If not, we need a common denominator, which is 4. 1 is the same as 4 over 4, but it is a negative. Negative 4 fourths plus 9 fourths is 5 fourths, so that's our b. 
So our answer in slope intercept form is y equals 3 fourths x plus 5 fourths. But we're told to put it in standard form. So we need to manipulate this around to get it into ax plus by equals c. I think the best idea is to get rid of this fraction. So let's multiply everything by 4, because that's the common denominator. This gives us 4y. Here the 4's cancel, we have 3x. The 4's cancel, and we have 5. We still need x and y on the same side, so I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides, which just moves the 4y over here, which gives us 3x minus 4y. But at the same time, this 5 that was on this side needs to be sent to that side, and it's going to become negative 5 because what will make that move is to subtract 5 from both sides. There's our answer in standard form. This problem is just a little different, not in the directions. The directions ask us to write the equation of a line, but now I'm giving it through two points. I'm not giving you the slope. Now, if you watched previous videos on finding slope, what I've taught you is take this second point and write it underneath, and then just ignore that. We've rewritten it underneath. And then, since your slope formula is asking you to do the difference between the y's over the difference between the x's, Instead of getting caught up in, hmm, should it be y2 minus y1, or maybe should it be y1 minus y2, I just think about working from the top down. Just remember that slope is rise over run, which is your y's over your x's. So from the top down, this is 6 minus 1. This is negative 1 minus 2. Clean that up, and we have 5 over negative 3, which I'd rather think of it as negative 5 thirds. That is my slope. So you weren't given the slope, you had to find the slope. Now we have two points. We can pick either one. It doesn't matter. I suggest whichever one you choose that you circle it and then maybe join these two things together because those are the two pieces of information you need to plug into y equals mx plus b. I could just as easily have used the top point. I just didn't because it was the top. Be sure you don't mix and match. Don't pick like that x and that y. That's why I'm saying circle up one of the points. Now start plugging in. y is 1, m is negative 5 thirds, x is 2. And see, at this point, it's just like the problems we did a second ago. This is negative 10 thirds plus b equals 1. And this is your decision. Deal with the fractions or get rid of them. I'll get rid of them. Multiply everything by 3. So this is 3 equals negative 10 plus 3b. We just have to solve this equation for b. Add 10 to both sides is going to make 13. And then divide both sides by 3 gives me a y-intercept of 13 thirds. So my answer is y equals the slope we found in the beginning, negative 5 thirds x, plus the y-intercept we just found. Now here's a neat thing. To check, what you want to do is use the other point. We use the 2, 1. Let's check by putting negative 1 in for x and 6 in for y and see what happens. Negative 5 thirds times negative 1 is positive 5 thirds plus 13 thirds makes 18 thirds, which is 6. It checks. Same kind of problem. Write the equation of the line through those points. No slope was given, so the first thing we have to do is figure out the slope. I've written this point underneath so I can just work my way straight down. So this is 8 minus negative 6 for minus 2. Minus a minus, I'm going to make that plus. So this is going to give me 14 over 2, which happens to give me an integer of 7. So sometimes the slope does work out to be an integer. With that, we're going to use our slope of 7. I'm going to use the bottom point. Those are the two pieces of information plugging in. Y is negative 6 m is 7, x is 2, plus b. So this is negative 6 equals 14 plus b. Subtract 14 from both sides is going to give us negative 20 for b. So the equation is y equals the slope we found in the beginning, minus 20. If you want to check, then put the other point in there, put 4 here, put 8 here, and you'll see that it checks.